Governor Tony Evers pothole patrol paid a visit to Green Bay this afternoon. Now since 2019, the governor has used the event to highlight the infrastructure investment that his administration is making in Wisconsin roads. Fox 11's Emily Matesic spoke with the governor about this program and other state issues. Governor Evers, along with Christina Boardman, the Deputy Secretary of the Wisconsin Department of Transportation, got to work Tuesday afternoon in Green Bay. The pair shoveling asphalt, helping to fill potholes along 12th Avenue at Howard Street on the city's west side. Green Bay is just the latest stop for the governor on his annual pothole patrol. It was last July when the governor signed his biennial budget, which included $550 million to fund transportation projects underway or in development. We got over about 7,400 miles of roads done and uh, in the neighborhood of 1,700 bridges that have been fixed. So a lot of good work already. We had a good, pretty good uh, budget last time, uh, obviously, and the mayor played a huge role in this and be getting uh, more shared revenue, a 20% increase, but, but also we've increased our local roads uh, uh, fund by $100 million. So that was, that was good work, uh, good bipartisan work. While the governor has bipartisan support for his commitment to infrastructure and transportation across the state, he continues to hit roadblocks with the Republican-controlled Joint Finance Committee. The governor calling on the committee to release $125 million in what he calls critical investments to combat PFAS contamination across the state. Can you talk a little bit about that and, and the damage being done by, by that money being held? That money can be released. It should have been released. Uh, people all across the state are concerned about PFAS or areas and, you know, obviously Marinette and La Crosse and other places in the state where it's a huge thing. People in La Crosse, they've been drinking Culligan water now for, I'd say, five or six years. We need to get that money out the door. They can do it. All they have to do is vote yes. Instead of taking up the issue of PFAS funding, the Joint Finance Committee spent its session on Tuesday approving an audit of state-sponsored discrimination through diversity, equity, inclusion, or DEI initiatives in the executive branch and the University of Wisconsin system. We must ensure state agencies and the UW system are efficiently utilizing taxpayer resources without regard for immutable characteristics, read a statement from State Senator Eric Wimberger of Green Bay. He added, this proposed audit has very clear goals of delving into the administration's DEI initiatives, what did the agency do, how much did it cost, and what did it achieve? The governor condemning the move. The Republicans are doing everything they can to, to frankly, destroy the legislative uh, audit bureau that i've been in state government for many years now and the audit bureau used to do a great job they'd work with the agencies and not anymore this is all about weaponizing so do i think the uh this is not a this is a bad idea absolutely in green bay emily matesic fox 11 news the governor is also calling on the Joint Finance Committee to release $15 million in resources to respond to the hospital closures in western Wisconsin. Hey everybody. Hello. Good Hello. to be back in Green Bay I'm with uh, Deputy Secretary Ordman from, uh, UW, or from UW, from UW, from DOT. And we're filling potholes today. I don't know if you saw her work. It was just excellent. The, um, the reason I'm here is every year we do this and it's an opportunity for us to talk about fixing the darn roads. We've been doing that, talking about that for five years now and we got over s about 7,400 miles of roads done and uh, in the neighborhood of 1,700 bridges that have been fixed. So a lot of good work already. We had a good, pretty good uh, budget last time, uh, obviously, and the mayor played a huge role in this. And, be getting uh, more shared revenue, a 20% increase, but but also we've increased our local roads uh, uh, fund by a hundred million dollars. So that was that was good work, uh, good bipartisan work. So I feel good about that. The other thing that is what I mentioned in passing here, actually it's more than in passing. It's something that concerns me greatly. Last year, last year there were 10 folks that uh, that do highway work in the state of Wisconsin that were killed. Uh, they, were, they were in work zones, all the signs were up, all the flashing lights, and so on and so forth. And, you know, so that's 10 people that went home that, or did not go home that night, and, and their families uh, don't have a mom or dad anymore. And that, that's a big number. So I'm encouraging people to look out. I mean, this summer there's going to be stuff all over the state of Wisconsin. It's already starting now. 
can't afford to lose anybody, not, no, more or less uh, nine or ten points. So with that, i um, be glad to answer any questions you might have. Governor, the Ho-Chuck Nation just uh, approved or decriminalized um, cannabis here. Mm. And say so you talk about that and where where we think where we think yeah, stand. Yeah, where that. Well, we've been working hard over the last uh, five years of several budgets to uh, make that happen. We, I believe we're. I know we're surrounded by states that have recreational law or recreational marijuana, and um, uh, you know. We're going to continue to do it. The people of Wisconsin, any, any polling on that is, is really positive and it obviously brings uh, revenue into the state of Wisconsin. So we'll continue to do it. I, I'm hopeful that the election this, uh, uh, this fall will make a, make a difference in the way the legislature works and we'll actually get this done. Yep. All right, um, so this is a question for people down in Madison. Um, what's your response to the DEI audit for public fees? today and are you worried the results may be used in the next budget to push the cuts to DEI staffing? The answer is of course. Uh, the Republicans are doing everything they can to, to frankly destroy the <laughs> legislative uh, audit bureau. That, I've been in state government for many years now and the audit bureau used to do a great job. They'd work with the agencies and not anymore. This is all about weaponizing. So do I think the uh, this is not a, this is a bad idea, absolutely. Uh, but it, you know, legislative audit bureau should be nonpartisan. It should not be a, used as a weapon, and that's exactly what's happening. You sent out a news release yesterday about the PFAS funding and yeah. special meeting. Can you talk a little bit about that and, and the damage being done by by that money being held? Oh, absolutely. We've got money that the legis legislature or the Joint Finance Committee can dispose of uh, at any point in time. Uh, that bill that I vetoed had nothing to do with the getting rid of the money. N absolutely nothing. Had to do with accountability, that's why I vetoed it. But that money can be released, it should have been released. Uh, people all across the state are concerned about PFAS. There's areas, in, you know, obviously Marinette, but La Crosse and other places in the state, and it's a huge shame. People in La Crosse, they've been drinking Culligan water now for in five or six years, we need to get that money out the door. They can do it. All they have to do is vote yes. Last question. Remember yes, you talked about, uh, uh, you called for a special session on the PFAS. Are you optimistic they might do anything more than gavel in and gavel out again? Well, they're there for the audit bureau thing. So, but to be honest with you, uh, if, uh, if I was gambling on that, they will do exactly what you said. They, They'll gavel in, gavel out on that. They won't do a thing because they think it can be a, a winner for them in, in, uh, uh, in November. It's going to be a loser for them. The, the people of Wisconsin expect legislators to actually do their job. Okay. Just one more quick question. Now, uh, with the, governor, the president coming tomorrow, are you going to go see him? And what does that say about how important Wisconsin is this election year? Well, it's very important, but uh, tomorrow is going to be about Microsoft and what their footprint in southeast Wisconsin is going to be, and frankly, in the state of Wisconsin. So this is a big deal. Uh, do I think that uh, uh, it, it, it'll impact the election? I have no idea. All I know is that that effort on the part of the federal government, frankly, our, our, our administration and Microsoft, they're going to have a huge uh, footprint in the state, and it's going to be a really good thing for the state of Wisconsin. Again, was, the mayor was talking about the Amtrak, and I know there's a lot of talk yeah. about trying to get the rail lines up and running for the NFL draft in less than a year. Yeah. Is it going to, can, can the state do anything we're, to make that happen? We're working at it. We're working on it, and obviously, uh, if n nothing else, we can have a, uh, hopefully have a chance during the, the draft to actually use, use the Amtrak to get people to Green Bay. But that has to be an overall goal. It seems to be something that Amtrak is interested in, and we're in discussions with them as we speak. Okay, thank you. Great. Thanks, everybody.